Patchy pulls himself together. Let's see how SpongeBob's party is shaping up. G'day guys, welcome to another video down here at the track. Got some work to do on the 350Z. No turbo on this car, so we can't be blowing up turbos because Jesus, I've just been turbos been dying left, right, and center with me at the moment. It's only two cars, but two cars with blown turbos, a lot of cars with blown turbos. Anyway. Um, I've got a prototype GK Tech shifter on this car. Um, we've made some revisions. Uh, well, the guy, I've, I've given the guys feedback. They've made revisions. Um, and now I have a new one which I need to fit onto there. Can't technically show you guys me fitting it, but uh, I'm gonna get that in there. I guess I can sort of show you guys what it looks like after it's fitted. Um, but I'm basically gonna pick this up with a forklift and get it all done because there's stuff underneath I need to get to. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting that done. Jack is down here, I assume he's gonna keep going on the uh, on the lozza. What'd you get up to on the lozza the other day? Oh, a bit. A bit? Oh, not too much after you left because we were a bit low on staff and had yeah. to run around and stuff. But I had to hide all this stuff. Yeah, that's all good. So Jack is gonna finish getting the turbo on, I'm guessing. That's what you look like you're doing. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to start working on the uh, 370Z and we'll keep you guys up to date with both of the cars. Yeah, nah? Yeah, nah? Yeah, nah. Yeah. Five hours later. Alright guys, a little bit later in the day now, but I managed to get this shifter in. It feels really good. I wish I could show you guys more than just this, but it literally is beautiful through the gears. There's fifth a little bit close to the thing but the other one was the same as that why are you climbing out the window i couldn't i couldn't open it just unlock it oh, come on. um so the gears are nice then you just like press this thing down and to put it into reverse so it actually feels super nice um fitting it up was actually really easy my biggest drama was taking the old setup out um so i obviously had to pull apart my whole interior here but um, it, it, I'm actually pretty stoked on this. This should work. With the revisions made, it should work a lot better than the old setup, which I'm super happy about. Um, and I did just get a message in my uh, uh, in the comment section. His name on here is the 33 line on uh, YouTube. Um, he's the one that gave us the intercooler. So huge thanks, dude. He's is going LS. So obviously LS in his R33, so that'll be pretty sick. Um, and he's gonna take us up on the uh, on the ride. So Jack has got the turbo in the Laurel now, um, and he's mucking around with everything else on that side of things, and hopefully we'll get that intercooler on, which, uh, I don't know, it's gonna be sick. It should dose now. Um, everything should be pretty rad. All right, I've got, uh, I don't know if you can see it. I've got a bunch of stuff on the back of the uh, Raptor I need to take down to the tip. It's just been messy down here at the track, so we're gonna go do that. Um, go pick up the float and get back down here. Tonight is the lights out session, so I'm gonna try and film as much as I can, but it's gonna be really interesting because obviously there won't be any lights on. So we'll try and film what we can uh, to try and show you guys what it's like because it is actually insane driving at Archie without lights on. And not like a scary insane, but it literally feels like you're on the street. It's so freaking cool. I don't know, I freaking love it. Last time we did it, it was just absolutely so amazing. It was so much fun. Um, and I know a bunch of guys are coming out to enjoy it tonight. The weather is actually good today. We went from 11 and 12 degrees to 22 or 23 degrees. So weather's fantastic. So we're hoping, hoping for a big night here at the Drift Park and uh, hopefully plenty of people to tandem with and get to uh, feel out this shifter. I think it's gonna be way better. We'll see how the boys go with the laurel. If that's done, we'll take it out for a few laps. Hopefully I'll be able to show you the, the like the finished setup with the uh, the front of that. And I am working on a new chassis. There's a possibility of a new chassis, uh, essentially for the laurel. So plans may change. I might have found a new car already. And it isn't a, thir a 14 or a 15, it might be something else. So we'll see how things go and progress with that. But for now, we wanna just get this thing going but regardless, I should be able to transfer most of the parts off of this onto a new chassis anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, 
Go to the tip. Fun. All right. So another thing, if you guys haven't been seeing on my social media, I've been sharing the fact that uh, the non-profit I've been working with, the Australian Institute of Motorsport, we're giving away a uh, sim, a big sim, and basically the winner had the choice between the winner's been drawn. Um, but he basically had the choice between taking the sim or 15 grand cash money. And by cash money, it's a check, but Benke's down here tonight for that. So Jet Tour, I don't want to butcher his name, do you know? It's Jet Tour Barakat. Sick, but he won, literally, he's winning 15 grand. 15 grand. That's ridiculous. And the poor dude, man, a month ago, someone rode his i30 like, off, that he'd spent heaps of money on and got it nice and mint. And then insurance is like, nah, we're dealing with all the flood payouts, so they haven't paid him any money yet. So he'll be able to use that 15 grand and get him another hundy. 100%. He's going off to go and get himself, probably not a hundy, he wants to get like a WRX. And I was like, have you thought about getting a rear wheel drive car? And he's like, oh, I thought it, but I don't know what my budget is. I was like, well, you budget. You have yeah, a budget. You have a good he has budget. A, he has a budget. Yeah, anyone's got 15 grand, a rear wheel and drive car. How many tickets did he buy? He bought 300 bucks worth of tickets. There you go, that's not yeah. bad. 300 bucks in the 15. But you know what? He's got a pretty interesting story because from the first ticket he bought, he was like, Yep, I've won this. And then he was actually writing in his diary like how he was gonna, like ex what he was gonna say to me when we rang him to let him know that he won. No way. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got a pretty- Proper vision board spec. 100%. So, so that's mad. So yeah. The, uh, so because of that, we're gonna be doing a giveaway again with the uh, the sim again. Yeah, we are. We're what's be the given... whole? Yeah, so it'll be it, a... It's not announced yet, but it'll it's be announced, announced yet. It will probably, probably by tomorrow. the time. By the time oh. it comes out. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it'll be up as soon as we do this tonight. We'll have it and just we'll go. But basically, you're going to get a chance again to win fifteen grand cash or a twenty thousand dollars sim. And what's the what's the story about the, the sim? Explain it. Oh, the sim. So it's a next level sim. It's got Fanatec Direct. So it's not it's not like whoa, it's next level. The actual brand is yeah, next the level. The brand is called Next Level <laughs> or Pagani Import. Because it's hard because you say oh, it's a next level sim. Yeah, like, no, is everyone's it... like oh, is it next level? No, so that's actually the company name. So Next Level Racing and Pagani and Imports are the two brands, um, and it's it's pretty sick. It's actually you haven't driven it yet. No. You know what? We're going to take Luke there next week, and he's going to go and have a send of it, and then he can tell us all about it. As long as it's not a movie, is it a it movie? Move. It's not we a can moving, turn one. moving one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, you can turn the moving on. Yeah, yeah, perfect. We're not giving away a moving one. The next yeah. one we'll do a moving one. Yeah. This time, the moving one. <laughs> so, anyway, keep an eye on that, guys. I'll share some stuff when I can on my uh, socials. But yeah, some That's lucky bastard's on his way here yeah. now to pick up a 15 grand check, which is rid ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like, like we, we've given away an RX-7. So we're giving away RX-7, a trip S, to Japan. The two-tone S13, yeah. which was, which I love the two-tone S13. And that's got a cool story. Actually, even the RX-7 was, was so sick. nice. And so nice. they're like a 30k car now, all day long. Dude bought a house. Dude sold it, bought a house. Yeah. Then we had the dude with the Japan trip. Then we had the S13. Then we did the R34 with the trailer and the tools. Yeah, which you know, again, ridiculous. Ridiculous. So we've done nearly 300 grand worth of stuff now. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, another 15. So another 15 on top. Right. And we're going to do more. more. And we've even got more in store. More. 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 So uh, who's Indiana Jones here? <laughs> That's so good because that's what I said as soon as I saw him dressed like that. I was like, what's going on, Indy? <laughs> <laughs> this is it's Benke's son. Yes. But uh, anyway, we're going to get this sorted out. Maybe drive it today, maybe not. Try. Try. Look at this. Front mount on the Waza. It's literally lipstick on a pig. Like, literally. Dude, it's going to be sick. I don't have a lot of front protection, so I really need to get some front protection because this front mount is just literally hanging out in the middle of nowhere so I definitely need some frontal protection on this car ASAP before I get too excited and wipe the freaking intercooler out yeah no I can we can weld something somewhere get a basic brush bar basic yeah. very basic you touch any of this on anything oh, and I know. she's all over yeah all right we're gonna get it sorted out anyway I don't think necessarily we'll get out today for a drive but we'll see how things go fingers crossed here we go guys <laughs> 15 thousand buckaroonies 15 grand 15 grand that's, that's crazy like imagine like and oh, I, i've never won anything like a prize raffle like that so that's just like dude won 15 grand and like I said he was positive and thinking thinking about it so that's super rad all right the whole front mount is on the turbo is on we're gonna give it a test fire in a sec but have a look she's definitely a beater but uh 
She's coming together. This will be so much better with the front mount, honestly, guys. It was definitely getting hot, like the intake temps were getting hot. But on top of that, it was um, definitely had boost leaks everywhere. So this is gonna solve so many of the problems and obviously make the turbo not, not have to work so hard, which will be fantastic. <laughs> because that will hopefully stop turbos from blowing up. All right, Jack, here, you got your camera. <laughs> dumped a bunch of oil out. A little, I'm a, I feel like she might be, uh, she might be a bit tired. She might need some uh, fresh rings or something. So if I do end up going and putting this engine and gearbox in a new car, I'll probably just go ahead and put new rings and you know, just give it like a basic freshen up, nice head, new head gasket, all that sort of stuff. Well, she's running for now. Um, gotta get all those oil lines down. The reason I'm not gonna be able to drive it it's about to get dark. The camera actually picks up the light better than it is. The lights aren't getting turned on and I obviously have no tail lights. So we're gonna take the 370 out for a rip, take the, that 15 grand winner out for a ride now while well, there's still some light in the uh, 370. <laughs>
That's a fucking big oops. Flipping yeah. big oops. Center a bit too hard, but. Yeah, little. You were just trying to give him the ride of his life. I was out of tyre and stayed in for too long. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. That's definitely uh that's definitely a couple of bent arms. Oh, your arms look straight. Huh? Your arms actually look straight. Yeah, no, I turned it in and up where it was like basically just backed it in. Bumper just fix the front of the car. <laughs> now the back of the car is cooked. <laughs> How was that? That was nothing. <laughs> sucks that we hit the wall, but I was fucking amazing beforehand. <laughs> well, hey, look, we've seen you rip wheels off. We've now seen you move a wall. Lucky the poles are there. Eh? Move the wall. As well. I don't know if he moved it with the big poles in it, but it was definitely a big hit. Yeah, we went hard. Look at that poor ring. Started finding some pieces of my wheel. So sad. No fixing that one. One pair of pants later. All right, I've got no chance of filming from the outside because it's, it's so dark, and I'm not really gonna have a chance of filming the, ups the inside. So you guys gonna have to take my word that it's sick fun. It really is sick fun. Um, can't believe I smacked the back of this car like that. What a rookie mistake that was. All right, the night here is over. The uh, what do you call it? Lights out event was sick. Honestly, so much fun, except for the fact that I've done all this damage. So 